Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Southern Asso Association for College Admission Counseling. Um, we are excited to get started. Um, and before we do, um, we would um, ask that if uh, for this virtual college fair, um, if you do have any questions to use the Q&A button to type your questions to the presenters at any time. Um, we are um, monitoring the chat. So we um, ask that you have any questions to submit them there. Um, we, um, your camera and your microphone is off, so you're muted um, and the panelists can't see or hear you. So we definitely advise using the Q&A for all your questions. Um, thirdly, uh, sign up for more sessions. We still have more sessions going on. So um, please feel free to sign up for a session at the next time slot. Um, there are many other college presentations being offered um, at this time. And then lastly, uh, there will be a recording available for this session and many others at the same page you registered, um, possibly around a week after, um, a week later. So please be on the lookout for a recording um, for your review. Um, and then we just wanna uh, say thank you to Cambridge um, Assessment International Education for sponsoring this college fair. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and Belmont University is first to present today. So hope you guys enjoy. Right, thank you so much, Catherine. Okay. I'll go ahead and throw this up here. I'm so excited to uh, connect with you all virtually this afternoon slash evening. My name is John Paul Murray and I'm with Belmont University. We're located in Nashville, Tennessee, and we'll share just a little bit about Belmont with you guys. So first off, we are a medium-sized private co-ed Christian institution. You'll see here on the screen, we have just over 8,200 students total with about 6,600 of those being undergraduate students. We have really small class sizes. That's very, very important to us. Average class size is about 19 students. You really get to know your professors and get to know other students. Uh, so if you're looking for a school where you're going to be in a classroom with 300 of your closest friends, that's not us whatsoever. Again, we really value that discussion time in those small class sizes for sure. Um, now we are a national institution as far as where we pull our students from. About 70% of our students are from outside of the state of Tennessee. And um, I can link you over to some information where you can see a breakdown per state. Um, but students coming from every state in the nation and about 28 countries outside of the U.S. Now we are located in Nashville, Tennessee, which is a fantastic city, one of the fastest growing cities in the country. We are located right in the heart of everything. So we're just about two miles south of where this picture was taken, downtown Nashville, nestled in between some great neighborhoods. You'll find Hillsborough Village to our west, 12 south, just south of us. And then just north of us is the famous and historic Music Row, which is the home and hub of all things revolving around the music industry. Uh, there's certainly a lot of music here in Music City, but Nashville has grown and changed a lot as well. So we're a lot more than just music. We're a hub for healthcare, education, government, business, technology, all of these other areas. So regardless of what you're looking to go into, we wanna make sure you get to know Nashville and that you get connected with some real world opportunities while you're a student on our campus. Academic wise, there is a lot that you can choose from. We have just over 100 different majors and programs in total that y'all can choose from. You'll see a listing of our different colleges and schools here on the screen. Some of our largest programs would include music business, audio engineering technology, nursing, which is actually our second largest program on campus. That is a direct admit program. So that means you're automatically in your freshman year. Uh, we have some kind of cool, unique majors you may not find some other places, a uh, songwriting, we launched a public health major a few years ago, um, a hospitality and tourism management, since that is so huge here in Nashville, I uh, just launched an architecture program last year as well. So we always have new programs coming up. And again, regardless of which major you go into, we want to make sure that you're connected in those small class sizes and that you're getting those internships, practicums, clinicals, whatever that is, that real world experience to supplement the learning that you're doing inside of the classroom. That's so incredibly important to us. Now, our campus itself is pretty compact. Just to give you an idea, uh, it takes you about 10, 15 minutes max to walk from one corner of campus to the other. So because of that, we have a really, really tight knit campus community 
our students here at Belmont really get involved. A majority of our students don't know anyone their first day when they move onto campus. They're coming from all over the place. So that's why we find it so important to make sure that you're getting plugged into our various student organizations on campus. Uh, this year we have just over 160 different student organizations and clubs that you're able to be a part of. And there's a little bit of something for everyone. So maybe you wanna be involved in Greek life on campus. About 15% of campus is involved in Greek life. Maybe you wanna dive into your academic area a little bit more. Uh, maybe you don't wanna major in music, but you're still musical. You can be in groups, ensembles and choirs. The list goes on and on. There are all of these ways that you can get involved and we wanna make sure that you're doing that as a Belmont student. We're also proud to be NCAA Division I Athletics here at Belmont. We're in the Ohio Valley Conference. Men's basketball is our biggest sport. And right now, last I looked, I think we're like 20 and one. So doing pretty well. And when it comes time for bracket buster season, hopefully we're gonna be on there and, and pick us and, and one year it'll definitely pay off. Um, but really, really vibrant student life here on campus. Just to give you all kind of a very quick overview of our admissions process, I know that we have people at different points of the application process and kind of college search process on with us this afternoon. Um, just a couple different ways that you can apply either online through your BU for you account, which is your prospective student portal or through the common application. Application goes live on August 1st of your senior year. So current juniors in just a few months, you'll be able to access the application, start working on it and submit it over to us. You'll see here on the screen that we are test optional for this year and next year. Uh, cautiously optimistic that we'll be able to continue to be test optional in future years for any sophomores or younger that may be on the call this afternoon. If you do choose to submit test scores, you'll see some averages listed right here. You'll also see our average GPA is about a 3.8 and we also require a counselor recommendation. Our application review process is very holistic. We're taking a look at who you are as an individual. Yes, we care about the academic side of things, but we want to provide some context to who you are as a student and take a look at that both within our application kind of regular admissions process and also within our scholarship process as well. I encourage y'all to connect with us online. You can see different ways to do that listed here on the screen. And also want to wrap up by saying that we are open for in-person visits. So if you are comfortable with visiting, we are certainly open. Feel free to come and see us here in Nashville. We're open most Monday through Saturdays uh, with limited capacities, of course, due to COVID. You'll also see masks are required on campus at all times as well. Um, so definitely we want, we want to keep you safe while you're here. Um, I'll be happy to answer any additional questions that you all may have in the chat. Um, and thanks for being with us and I'll pass it off to the next person. Great, thank you. Um, next up, we awesome. next up we have Columbus State University. Good evening, everyone. Well, I'm so excited to be here with you all today. And in a couple of seconds, or right now, you should be able to see my screen. My name is Nam, and I am with Columbus State University. So we are located in Columbus, Georgia, and our tagline is Create You. And we're really proud of it because our students have been able to resonate um, to this message. And from the minute that you step foot on campus to the time that you graduate, we hope you will create the person that you want to become. So throughout this presentation, I hope you'll think about all the ways that you can create you at CSU. So here are the things that we do really well, cultivate creativity, inspire collaboration, reimagine education, and of course, expanding world. And I um, specifically want to hone in on this inspiring collaboration piece because our students have been doing this so well, even in this pandemic when things have gone virtual. Um, know that when you get to CSU, you'll have a team of staff members, faculty members, and peers who are supporting you throughout your journey. And of course, to reimagine education, whatever that means for you. It may mean studying abroad. It may mean, um, you know, graduating a bit early or having a minor. We will be able to help you do all of that. 
Now, one of the best parts about CSU is that our students get to enjoy two campuses um, every single day. So when you are a CSU student, you don't say I'm a CSU student on the River Park campus or on the main campus, right? You are a CSU student and you have access to two campuses. And I think this is a really unique aspect about Columbus State University that our students really enjoy. Our main campus has more of a traditional feel, um, whereas the River Park campus is housed in the uptown or downtown heartbeat of Columbus, Georgia, which is Georgia's second largest city. So there's always a hustle and bustle in the air. And we do have a CSU shuttle that takes students to and from the campuses um, every single day, every 20 minutes, starting from morning to night. So this, again, is one of the best parts about attending CSU. You have two really unique campuses um, that you can take advantage of in your time with us. Now, we have a ton of different majors that you can choose from split into four different colleges. Our College of the Arts houses theater, music, arts. We have a communication major as well. Um, College of Education and Health Professions. So um, if you were interested in nursing, one of our most popular programs and then I'll also teacher education as well and then college of letters and sciences biology chemistry um psychology ton of different popular majors in there and of course our college of business with your accounting finance marketing business management computer science and it degree so lots of different majors at CSU. And I won't read through all of these highlights, but you can see our students and us as an institution, we've been able to accomplish some pretty awesome thing in the last couple of years. Um, and engagement is one of our pillars. So students are always encouraged to stay engaged on campus through our student organizations, which we have over a hundred of, Greek life, if you're interested in doing that. We also have a ton of different sports and um, very, very fun student traditions that happen every single year. And of course, our on-campus housing. This is going to help facilitate that building community and collaboration piece. So on the main campus, we have Clearview Hall, and then our, our River Park campus, we have Broadway Crossing. Both of these options are for our first year student, and they're going to be suite style. So within each suite, there will be two bedrooms and two restrooms, and within each bedroom, there will be two roommates sharing a bedroom and um, the restroom. So I like to say our students live comfortably, um, but they still have that chance to connect with their roommate and their suite mates and their hall mates as well. So you have an option as a student of where you want to stay your first year. Um, no communal restrooms at all in any of our dorms, by the way. So pretty, pretty nice living situation. And how you can become a CSU Cougar, first you'll submit your online application. There is a $40 application fee, um, but if you have a fee waiver, we will take that as well and waive that fee for you. And then an official transcript showing um, a required GPA of a 2.5 core GPA. So if you are a senior right now, we just need your application and your transcript. Again, if you are a senior right now graduating in May 2021 and you're applying for fall 2021, your application and your transcript will do. However, I did put our test scores um, on here as well because if I have any younger students in the room, like junior, sophomore, freshman in high school right now, we may require the test scores by the time that you apply. Um, so just keep that in mind. But again, for my seniors, this is um, just your application and your transcript is necessary. And cost is super, super important to us. And I like to think we're pretty affordable, um, less than $9,000 a semester for us with tuition fees, housing and meal plans. So these are going to be direct costs owed to CSU. So pretty affordable, especially if you're a Georgia student and you have Hope Scholarship or Zell Miller Scholarship. Um, those scholarships can help take a chunk off that tuition fees as well. So keep that in mind. And we would love for you guys to come visit CSU. We have plenty of opportunities. Take your camera right now and scan the QR code and we'll be able to um, connect you to an opportunity that you want to do. So we do have main campus tours, River Park campus tours in person. Um, we also have an information session that we host daily that's virtual. And if you visit our website, we also have a, um, an on-demand virtual campus or if you just want to see the layout and pictures of some of the building. And I'd like to plug our discovery day on March 6th. That is our preview day. We hope um, to invite you to that so you can discover all that CSU has to offer and so much more. And I'll leave you with uh, Go Cougars. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, 
Next up, we have Lehigh University. Um, and I do wanna go ahead and remind um, attendees if you have any questions at all, um, the representatives are ready and um, willing to answer your questions in the Q&A chat. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Bombard. I'm a Senior Associate Director of Admissions at Lehigh University. I'm really excited to be chatting with you all today as the first non-Southern school as a part of this program. So this is a picture of our beautiful campus where our students are built for tomorrow's challenges. This is just kind of an overhead view. We have the traditional, um, can you see this? Hey, Sarah, no, yeah. not, no, we have, we're not able to see it just yet. You can't see it, okay. You may want to stop screen does sharing. This work? Does, does this not. work? Does this work? No. Yes, it okay. does work now. It oh. wasn't sharing at all? It was sharing just a few minutes ago for like a brief second. And now we just see, we see you. Okay. You want to start sharing again, maybe? Does this work? It does not. Yes, it works. Okay. Great. All Thank right. you. Great. Cool. We're back on. So uh, this is an aerial view of our campus. Uh, what is lovely about it is that it is the traditional quintessential uh, East Coast kind of Hogwartsy style of architecture. Um, but a little bit more about our location. We are firmly mid-Atlantic. We are in Pennsylvania, about equidistant between New York City and Philadelphia. We're in a city called Bethlehem. And if you have ever had a marshmallow peak, those candies, you know, that, you know, are just marshmallow covered in sugar. Um, those are made in our town. So you've already had a taste of Bethlehem, hopefully uh, stale or regular, you, you enjoy peeps. We do have a base on the West Coast, and this is an amazing opportunity for our students who are interested in topics like entrepreneurship, uh, technology, business, and things to have hands-on experiences in a bi-coastal way. These are some pictures of either uh, our own campus or the area around us. Uh, the bottom left is what our campus looks like right now. We have gotten a bunch of snow recently and so students are absolutely loving the sledding options uh, and the beauty of campus in the snow. But it gives you a sense of the kinds of architecture and things that are uh, available to do in our local community. There's awesome uh, food in our area. Uh, there's minor league baseball teams, including the uh, creatively named Iron Pigs. So if you like sports, uh, you may have heard of them because they're kind of a weirdly named team. But specifically about Lehigh, let me tell you about what our students are like and who we are as an institution. We know that our students are passionate about having an impact on humanity. So whether you are majoring in art or music or finance or population health or mechanical engineering, you are able to change the world. You are going to be able to improve processes and make life better for people all around the world. And that's what we want you to, to think of as you are choosing your majors and areas of study. Our students are incredibly creative problem solvers. They are committed to intellectual curiosity and creativity. They ask questions. They look for unique ways of doing things. Our students are really dynamic. We purposefully and intentionally recruit and admit a diverse class, diverse being ethnically, racially, religiously, and students from all 50 states and over 70 countries. We have a very collaborative culture. We do not have a competitive culture. We do not have a cutthroat culture, despite the fact that we're a highly selective university. Our students work together and often uh, collaborate in interdisciplinary teams on projects. Finally, we have amazing postgraduate success. Over the last 20 years, our average placement has been 95%. So 95% of students within six months of graduation will be placed in grad school, will be working in jobs that they're excited about uh, that they will be pursuing, hopefully for many years to come. A little bit of the facts and figures. We're medium sized, and so that's about you know, 5,200 undergraduate students, though we also have graduate students. You will never see them teaching your classes because 99% of our classes are taught by professors. About 16% of our students are first generation or the first students in their house uh, or in their family to go to college. And about 25% of our students are underrepresented minority students. So that would be um, BIPOC students, Asian, uh, Latino or uh, Hispanic students. And we're always looking to diversify our campus even further by admitting students from, as I mentioned, all over the country and the world. 
We have over 100 majors and programs across our undergraduate colleges. The largest is the College of Arts and Sciences, which is our liberal arts college where you'll find majors like you have in high school, chemistry, physics, math, English, etc. We have a College of Business, which is uh, home to our finance and accounting programs. Those are our two largest. The College of Education offers a five-year bachelor's and master's program, as well as a teaching certificate. The College of Health is brand new. It opens this fall and focuses on population health. If you're not sure what population health is, it's essentially the study of communities, whether they're small or large, and how they stay healthy or how they get sick. And uh, they look at things like pandemics and epidemics, which two years ago when I had to talk about it was kind of weird and nobody knew what it was. And now we do. So if you're really interested in learning more about what's going on in the world literally today, um, I encourage you to look into the College of Health and Population Health. We're the only college in the country that offers it at the undergrad level. You can also pursue a bachelor's and master's or an MPH, Master's of Public Health, um, as a Lehigh student. Finally, we have the Rawson College of Engineering. Uh, computer science is the largest major at Lehigh and engineering is uh, historically what we are known for in the Southern US. We encourage students to major and minor across colleges. So yes, you can do more than one thing. You can be a finance major and a philosophy minor. You can be a mechanical engineering major and a music minor. It's very, very common and our students love to go across the colleges to learn. And finally, we are known for some really creative and fun traditions. We have the most played college football rivalry in the country, more played than Harvard Yale, more played than um, you know, any SEC rivalry. Uh, it is going to have its 156th meeting this spring, which is very strange, but we got to keep that streak going. To celebrate it, we have the marching band march around campus the Friday before and play as a mobile pep rally. We have bed races, which are the picture in the top left corner, um, and so pretty unique. We're also known as uh, an LGBT friendly school, one of the top seven in the country. We've got over 150 clubs and organizations study abroad and all the stuff you'd expect. So I hope that you ask some questions in the chat and uh, get to know more about Lehigh as you're considering the schools that you are applying to. Thank you. Um, next up, we have Concordia University, Chicago. Um, so whenever you're ready. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, thank you for having us. Um, and yeah, so my name is Jefferson. I am from Concordia University, Chicago. Um, and today, oh, one second, let me, there we go. Um, yeah, so today I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about our um, admissions and financial aid process. Uh, so we are, uh, first of all, we are a small liberal arts school located about 10 miles straight west from downtown Chicago. Um, you can see our, University campus there is located in one square mile and just off in the distance, you can see the skyline of the third largest city in the country. So when you think of all the culture, food, music, diversity that, that the city of Chicago brings, our students have all of that opportunity right at their fingertips. Um, you know, again, food, music, sporting events, you name it. Um, we're getting our students those opportunities um, but we are uh, kind of on the flip side, we're located in the suburb of River Forest. So this kind of quiet residential suburban neighborhood is where our students actually come to live, um, learn, grow, and, and kind of focus on their studies. Uh, we are, like I said, a small liberal arts school. So on average, our class sizes are about 15 to 20 students per one professor. Um, you're gonna get to know your professors, you're gonna get to know your peers, and that really becomes your um, source of support and, and community along the way. Um, what are we most known for? For our popular majors, we are most well known for our College of Education by far and away. A lot of students come here to be teachers. Um, and if you know anything about the Illinois uh, teaching climate is if you can become a, a teacher here, uh, those credentials are, are far and away um, you know, going to set you up for success in a lot of other states across the country. But from there, our most popular programs, uh, psychology is always among the top of them, but I, actually our exercise science and our computer science programs have just exploded over these last few years and have become um, in those top five, as well as sports management. Again, if you can think of a sports organization in Chicago, we've actually got students interning, observing, um, and actually getting jobs after college uh, with those teams. 
So from here, um, how can you get involved on campus? So we have over 45 clubs and organizations on campus, as well as um, our music ensembles, intramural sports opportunities, and so many more. Um, our music department is actually very, very well known across the country. Uh, we tour both internationally and domestically every year for our instrumental groups and our choral groups. Um, so that's been a very, very uh, cool thing to watch grow and, and um, take shape. Uh, from there, our campus activities board. So those are the folks who bring concerts to campus. They bring comedians and, um, and theater groups and all of those things, again, from the city and at large to campus for our students to enjoy. Um, our Black and Latino student unions are among our top groups here on campus, as well as our spiritual life opportunities. So we are a university rooted in the Lutheran Church in Missouri Synod. Um, so those are going to be uh, very prominent groups on campus as well. We also have 17 D3 athletic teams on campus. So basically anything besides um, you know, wrestling and golf, pretty much. Uh, we have men's and women's sports in all of those categories that you see there on the screen. Um, they're very, very competitive. Uh, we play in a conference that basically takes on opponents all over the Midwest. Um, and our baseball team in the past five years have made it to the championship, the D3 championship three times in the last five years. Um, so, like I said, we're very, very competitive every year, and we're excited to have all of our sports uh, playing in one semester this spring, um, since we fore forewent the, the season last year in the fall. Um, so how do you apply, or what are your next steps in your admissions process? So at Concordia, um, I think it was mentioned earlier, but similar to uh, a few of the other schools you've heard, your application will open the uh, the fall of your senior year. So about August 1st of your senior year, you'll be able to apply on our website. It's completely free. From there, all you need to do is send us your official high school transcripts and we'll go ahead and review you for admission. Um, from there, just a couple of really quick reminders. Obviously, we'll walk you through the FAFSA and how that all works. We'll talk to you about merit scholarships and how um, we calculate those. And then of course, the most important step in a college admissions process is to go on a campus tour, take that uh, or take the visit, um, have an appointment with me, meet with a professor, meet with a coach if you're interested. And like I said, we'll get you those connections um, that you need to really feel like a part of that community. Um, oh, speaking of um, merit scholarships. So we are awarding scholarships based on your unweighted GPA from high school. And for this upcoming year, the academic awards have been anywhere from five to $15,000 and the leadership awards have been anywhere from five to 10,000. So a total of 10 to $25,000 um, that you could be awarded just for the awesome work that you're doing in high school right now. The President's Honor Scholar Award is a full tuition scholarship that goes to five students every year. So if you're eligible for those, we'll get you application materials for those awards. Um, and then our music scholarships. Again, going back to those ensembles that we have to offer, you can actually audition, play a few pieces for our faculty, and there's actually scholarship dollars um, attached to those auditions. Um, and then lastly, if you are a part of the LCMS community, there are a few mission-specific awards that you can apply for. Um, again, we'll talk to you about what those are and what the eligibility requirements are um, when you apply. Um, so lastly, if this connects here, um, yeah, one more slide. So why choose Concordia? Um, basically diversity, the community, all those great things. Um, so let us know how we can help and I'll be happy to uh, I'll be happy to chat more in the in the chat or the Q and A. Um, yeah, thanks everyone. Great, thanks. Um, the next representative we have is from the University of South Florida. Hello, thank you. I'm just gonna share my screen real quick. trying to see how to, sorry, I'm not finding my uh, PowerPoint. Laura, I might need your help. 
in um, pulling up the PowerPoint. You may be only sharing um, your a certain screen um, instead of your entire, maybe a, a tab instead of the entire screen. I'm so sorry. It, Laura, are you on here? Sorry, I was trying to unmute myself. Yes, let me um, let me get that. Uh, it, it, if you can just pull it up, like I'll still present it. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. If you want the next school to go up, and yeah, then let's. Can we do that? Thank yeah, you. So absolutely. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. Great. So we'll go ahead and have um, the University of Iowa um, go ahead and start presenting, and then we'll finish with the University of South Florida. Okay. Thank you. Sounds good. All right, let me get my screen now. All right, friends, can you see that okay? We can. Yes, we can. Can you all see that okay? All right, yeah, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Lacey Patterson, and I am one of our regional admissions counselors that works with Southern students. And my colleague, Marcus Phillips, who is our Associate Director of Regional Recruitment is in the chat. So make sure you guys give him some good questions. Um, we're so excited to visit with you all. We are from the University of Iowa. We're located in Iowa City, Iowa, and we're home to the Hawkeyes. The University of Iowa is the flagship university. We're a tier one research institution and we're a member of the Big Ten. Iowa is home to one of the most acclaimed medical centers as well as a globally recognized leader in the study and craft of writing. With just under 32,000 total students, our campus community is rich in culture and celebrates the history and story that each student brings. It's important to share that students who come to the University of Iowa will also experience all four seasons, especially snow, so students quickly come to adapt to layers and enjoying the beautiful and cold winters that the University of Iowa will bring. Um, at the University of Iowa, one in three undergraduate students are engaged in research at any given time. Students can expect access to faculty with a 15 to one student to faculty ratio and an average undergraduate class size of 30 students or less for over 80% of our undergraduate courses. With strong academic opportunities, it's no wonder that Hawkeyes are very successful upon graduation with over 95% of our students employed or in graduate school within six months of graduation. With over 200 undergraduate programs and 100 graduate doctoral and professional programs across, across 12 academic colleges, it's clear why the University of Iowa is the 34th ranked public university. At the University of Iowa, choosing a major is just the start. When it comes to an academic plan, we are flexible. You can focus on what you love and work across areas of study to build on your own combination of courses. Wherever your interests lead you, we want to help you get there. The top five areas of study for our students coming from Southern states are English and Creative Writing, the Tippy College of Business, Health Sciences, our College of Engineering and Psychology. While I would love to talk to you about each and every program tonight, I don't have three hours, so I'm just going to focus on our top five. First, writing. Iowa's breadth and depth of writing is second to none. When you think of writing, this is a quintessential skill that will set you, that will carry you throughout your professional and personal lives. At Iowa, students have diversity in their degree offerings in writing, from English and creative writing, undoubtedly our most well-known and celebrated program focusing on personal growth as a writer, our innovative screenwriting and cinematic arts program with impressive Hawkeye connections to Hollywood, and then our journalism and mass communications program, which takes a multimedia approach to storytelling. Next is business. The Tippy College of Business is the 21st public business program in the nation that offers direct admission for competitive incoming students. And um, students who are admiss admitted to Tippy will ex participate in real world experiences and leadership opportunities throughout our Tippy RISE program. RISE stands for research with faculty, internships, study abroad, and experiential courses. Next, the health sciences. At Iowa Health Sciences, are one of our most impressive and ac academic and professional programs that we have. Our campus is home to three hospitals, a College of Medicine, College of Dentistry, College of Pharmacy, College of Public Health, 
College of Nursing, Neuroscience, Speech and Hearing Sciences, Chemistry, Biochemistry, Biomedical Sciences, Health and Human Physiology, and much, much more. Undergraduates who aspire to continue on to professional programs find strong mentorship, groundbreaking research, unique opportunities to be immersed in a robust and vibrant health science-rich academic community. Next is engineering. At Iowa, we're proud of the fact that our College of Engineering is home to innovators and creators. Our College of Engineering is unique and fosters a collaborative learning environment. Students can begin their education at the University of Iowa as undeclared engineering or choose a specific major such as biomedical or mechanical. With over 78% of our in engineers are double majoring or minoring outside of the College of Engineering. So this is truly a unique experience that they have. Finally, the Department of Psychological and Brain Sciences at the University of Iowa is one of the oldest and most respected programs in the nation. Coursework is focused on five specific areas, behavioral and cognitive, neuroscience, clinical psychology, developmental science, cognition and perception, uh, pardon me, perception and personality, and social psychology. While most professional psychology professions will need you to continue an advanced degree, the majority of our undergraduates in psychology choose a double major to support their future academic goals. The University of Iowa's application for admission for fall of 22, 2022 will open in August. We accept the University of Iowa's application, the common application, or the coalition application. There's no preference. As you will see here, our admissions process is very transparent, and we're very proud of the fact that our acceptance rate is over 80%. I'm happy to share that for fall of 2022, Iowa is test flexible for admission and scholarships. Students are encouraged to apply for admission with or without a test score. Applications without a test score will need to submit an essay and a high school transcript along with their application. If a student is able to take the ACT or SAT, they are encouraged to submit that, that score to us. And we, we would like to let students know that receipt of a test score will never negatively impact a previous admissions or scholarship decision. Next, student life. Hawkeyes are very engaged outside the classroom with over 600 student organizations. They're very, um, very connected to the University of Iowa, very connected to Iowa City as well. Finally, thank you so much for joining us. Please reach out to Marcus or myself with any questions and it's great to be a Hawkeye. Thanks so much, y'all. Great. Uh, so much great information that's being shared. Um, last but certainly not least, we will turn it over to the University of South Florida. Thank you. Um, my coworker, Laura Lifesaver, is going to share it for me because I'm having technical issues. Yeah, no worries. Thank you so much. So, okay, awesome. All right. Well, my name's Jackie. I'm an admissions recruiter at USF. And at USF, we are one university geographically distributed in the greater Tampa Bay area. So we do make up three different campuses. So Tampa being our largest, that's our D1 university uh, campus. But we also have our St. Petersburg and Sarasota campuses, which offer a lot of the same advantages that you get on the Tampa campus just smaller class sizes and more close-knit learning environments. Um, and all three campuses are located right by Clearwater Beach, St. Pete Beach, Siesta Key Beach, so it's definitely another win. Um, our total enrollment is over 50,000 students, but we're still able to keep that student to faculty ratio at 21 and one, um, average class size being about 33 students. One of our biggest points of pride on campus um, is definitely our diversity. So we have students um, coming from 41.5% of them being from diverse backgrounds, uh, students coming from all 50 states and coming from over 140 different countries. Uh, we also over, um, offer over 200 different majors and concentrations for students. And all those 200 majors and concentrations fall under our next slide, which will show us our USF colleges. Um, so these are the USF colleges, just to name some of the most popular ones, definitely College of Business, College of Engineering, uh, College of Marine Science, because again, we're right next to the, the beaches, um, College of Medicine, and then College of Nursing also being a very competitive one for us. Next. 
Uh, this is another point of pride for us. Um, we, we got a title um, as being one of America's fastest rising universities. So we're now ranked number 46, um, and that's from the US News and World Report. So it's something we're proud of. Um, I also like to talk to students about uh, student life and uh, you know campus life. So at USF, we do offer over 700 different clubs and organizations for students to get involved in. So they can be academic based um, or they could just be fun based. So I know a group of students started a Harry Potter group on campus. A group of girls started a I Heart Chocolate Lovers group on campus. Um, so you name it, we have it, I'm sure. Uh, we usually have over a thousand different on-campus events each year. We are a member of the NCAA Division I athletics, but we also have uh, recreation and intramural sports uh, with our three different rec centers we have on campus. Um, if you're familiar with Florida, you've been to Florida, you probably know that uh, Publix grocery stores are like the holy grail of, public, of grocery stores in Florida. And we do have our very own on-campus Publix grocery store right next to the dorm, super convenient for students. A little bit more about the academics. So I know I mentioned we have over 200 different majors, uh, but within all those majors, we do offer research experience for students. Um, so it's research experience that begins their freshman year. Um, they could have their research published by the time they graduate, um, something they can add to their resume. We also have our Judy Gunshaft Honors College. Uh, we have a lot of study abroad opportunities for students and then access to local, national and global internships as well. Uh, campus housing. So, of course, we have housing for students and freshmen are free to apply to any of the different housing styles. We have your traditional style and then for students that want something a little bit more independent living, we do have suite style and the apartment style. Uh, throughout all the different uh, styles, we do have living and learning communities. So it's really cool students are able to live next to or have roommates that are studying the same thing or have similar interests and hobbies. Now I wanna get into um, our admissions information for you guys, so let's do it. Okay, so we put it in four easy steps for you guys. Um, so of course apply, so you can apply online or you can apply through the coalition app or the common application and we don't take a preference on whichever one you choose. Um, and then there is the application fee of $30 or you can uh, submit a fee waiver. We accept ACT, SAT or the NACAC fee waivers. And then we just need you to submit your official high school transcript um, that can be sent from your high school or directly from a guidance counselor. They can even directly email that to us. Um, and then uh, the official standardized test scores. So we accept ACT and or SAT and we do super score both. Uh, this is a nice overview of important dates and deadlines. And I did want to put our fall 21 application cycle on here along with the fall 22 because um, they do look a little bit different. Uh, definitely our most important deadline is going to be the scholarship deadlines. Um, and that's just so you can be considered for those merit-based scholarships. So when students apply um, and they have their test scores and high school transcript turned in, um, by the scholarship deadline, then they're in the running automatically for those merit-based scholarships. Um, and those scholarships are on the next slide. Here I have our Florida resident scholarships and our non-Florida residents. Again, these, you know, you don't have to apply to them separately uh, after you apply and you have everything submitted to your application by the scholarship deadline. Um, if you fit the criteria, that award is yours. Thank you. Um, another big point of pride I love to talk to students about is definitely our cost of attendance. Um, I love to tell students because we have one of the lowest rates in the country. Um, our rates are often the same or lower than in-state rates at non-Florida universities. Um, so we're really proud to offer that. Uh, and then my last slide. I have a code here for you guys to go right into um, the admissions page. Um, if you have any other questions, you guys can feel free to reach out through email and our website's on there. Um, we have a virtual tour link, but we also have our um, in-person tours as well. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Um, sorry for the technical issues and, and go Bulls. <laughs> Thank you.
It's never a problem. Uh, technical difficulties happen to all of us. Um, well, thank you so much all for joining us. We're really um, excited for you to be here. Um, before we uh, end the session, we do wanna remind you um, that there is a quick survey at the end uh, when you close your window, a four quick uh, question survey will appear. If you could please fill that out. Um, it gives us feedback on how we can improve or be better. Um, so please, uh, we appreciate your time. Um, secondly, if you, um, we would love for you to sign up for more sessions or more sessions going on. Um, so you can sign up where you registered for this session. And then lastly, the recording will be available um, possibly about a week after um, that um, after today. So we encourage you to uh, review the recording and let us know if you have any questions. Um, thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening.